Are you one of those students who scored really high in school maths, but the GMAT quant section is somehow punching them on their face? Well, don't worry. It's not just you. You're not alone. It's a trap Indian students fall for each and every year. You need to understand that GMAT is not a board exam. Stop calculating each and every step like a class 10th word problem. GMAT requires logic, not long multiplications. The fix here is to practice number sense. Practice shortcuts, approximation and eliminating wrong answers. Indians usually nail PS, but DS destroys most scores. Do you know why? Because you are trying to solve instead of checking sufficiency. The fix is to practice the ABCE elimination method and memorize DS trigger rules. Identical statements, hidden constraints and unnecessary calculations. The topics like speed distance, profit loss, ratios, we all have seen these since childhood, right? That's exactly why Indian students fall for GMAT twisting the language. For example, A is 20% faster than B. Half of the people will instantly convert this to a speed difference rather than a ratio problem. Always, always rewrite the problem in your own words and make simple rate tables. Trust me, that will solve 80% of the problem. The next error is huge among Indian students. You get stuck on a doable question for 3 minutes because your ego wants to finish it. Trust me, that's not how GMAT works. Then you need to adopt the 1 minute decision rule. That is, if you don't know the path in the first 60 seconds, get smart and move on. CBSE ICC maths train you for formula application. GMAT train you for logic. That shift slashes the score. The only fix is to practice and do at least 200 official DS problems and analyze their solutions. Spotting patterns boosts your con scores by 5 plus points. You know, sadly, the easiest marks are lost in silly mistakes. The wrong units, forgotten constraints, negative values. For example, if X is an integer, why are you even considering decimals? So positively, at the end of every problem, you must do a 5 second check. Units, constraints, negative possibility, integer conditions. Another classic example of Indian errors, wasting a great deal of time on permutation combination and poorly scoring on arithmetic where GMAT actually tests you. The weightage of GMAT quant is 60% arithmetic plus algebra. Master the basics before touching the high level content. If you are still stuck in GMAT quant or need a roadmap to reach question number 48, 49 or 50, Shisha Study Abroad can help you.